Hello and welcome to Let's Play King's Quest V, Absence Makes the Heart Go Yonder. As King's Quest IV was the first game using the SCI engine, King's Quest V was the first VGA point-and-click game Sierra ever made. This gives the game a huge boost in graphical quality, and we get to enjoy the beautiful hand-painted backgrounds that Sierra used in their games from this era. This game was also the first Sierra game to be released as a talky CD-ROM version with full speech, and I will be playing this version. Unfortunately, like many Sierra games, there is no option to have both text and speech at the same time. In fact, this game doesn't have an option for text at all! If you check the game's files with a resource viewer, you'll find that the text resources from the floppy version are simply not present in the CD version, which means that, unlike with Space Quest 4, it would be very difficult to add subtitles to this game. There is, as of this recording, no patch, fanmade or otherwise, to enable simultaneous text and speech in this game. This means that there will be speech only, which makes my job a lot harder, unfortunately. Between the sometimes low quality of the recordings, the at times bad sound mix between music and speech, and the chance that I might talk over something, I apologize in advance if there's anything in these videos that you can't understand. If it happens, feel free to um, ask in the comments, I'll usually be able to uh, fill you in. Anyway, I'll do my best, but I'm only human. Well, one final thing before we start, as you probably expect by now, I will record this game's music music uh, using my genuine Roland MT32, so you can experience, experience it the way the composer wanted it to sound. Okay, let's start! Sort of ironic showing a floppy disk to load if this is the CD version, but anyway. Have you previously played King's Quest V? Also the first usage of the uh, official Sierra fanfare, I believe. And this basically asks you if you want to see the introduction, and we do want to see the introduction. Warning. Way too long. This cartoon <laughs> contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that warning a couple of times. I'm just always going to choose watch it, of course. A nice day, nothing bad happening. Wait. That's not a good thing, is it? This is where it all goes wrong for the game. <laughs> Ooh, I can tell you what happened. What? Ooh, I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all. Yes, I did. You did? Well then, what happened? Ooh, it was the 
powerful and evil wizard Mordak who did it. Ooh, I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Well, don't stop now. Go on. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Ooh, it was something to see, all right. Why? Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What could he have against me and my family? That I don't know. Ooh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. Well, perhaps I can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard, which is why I recognized Mordak. Ooh, unlike Mordak, though, my employer is a very good wizard. His name is Crispin Arthur, but we all call him Crispin for short. The only problem is, you see... <laughs> the only problem is, Cedric is an idiot. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on in years and tends to be a bit forgetful. I don't know. This doesn't sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Crispin is a very qualified wizard, one of the best. He just gets a little forgetful now and again, that's all. Now, where is it? Oh, I know I brought it with me. Aha! Here it is. What is that? Well, it is my opinion that you don't stand a chance against the likes of Mordak. Ooh, excuse me for saying, Your Majesty, but you don't have a choice. You must come with me. I'm sure Crispin can help you. I've been carrying around. Ooh, it'll help you to fly. You can follow me to the land of Serenia, where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. Ooh, I think the fairy dust is still good. Wait, if they're going to Serenia, wouldn't it be faster to use a linking book? He flies with all the grace of Puma Man, who has the power to rear project major cities. Convenient. Cedric? Where have you been? I've been calling for you. Well, well. What have we here?
A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense sitting around like a wet dog. Cedric, go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, I like Crispin. Wait, how can he do that? He doesn't have hands. The Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good, though. Crispin, why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that evil mind of his. Ooh. I thought perhaps you could help His Majesty, Crispin. That's why I brought him here. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know. But I've gotten a little rusty lately. <laughs> a little rusty? That's quite enough from you, Cedric. I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. But let's see what I can find. magical white snake I had left over from last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. You could find that quite helpful. Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. You should know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something for you. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that confounded Morlack could be up to. You go with him, Cedric. Show him the way. Who? Me? Yes, you. Don't be such a coward. That's not necessary, now go on. really. You'd better get started. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. Please don't call me your majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Oh, I'd be delighted to, Graham. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Well then, let's be on our way, Cedric. Yes, let's be on our way in the next video.